Welcome back to the pregame. Time now for our player profile presented by Hodge Construction. And our first one of the year is Drake Berry, senior offensive and defensive lineman for the Bears. Drake, uh, senior year. It's here, finally. Uh, what's it feel like to say, you know what, I've hit my senior season as a West Branch Bear? It's weird. Real weird. I mean, I remember, like, walking into the school freaked out about football, and now I'm a senior. <laughs> I mean, I don't know much, much more to say other than that, so... What's, uh, I guess, real quick, a side note, what would you say to maybe some of those freshmen that are walking in, wide-eyed, saying, what is going on, to be able to get to where you are now? Uh, stick it out. It's totally worth it. I mean, it sucks at some points, but it's it's worth it. So just stick it out. I mean, yeah. There you go. It's simple as that. Well, we're getting into it, and uh, from the end of last year, things come to an end, and last year was just a crazy year to begin with. Talk a little bit about what you've done to try to help this team become better so that as you kick things off here this week, you're able to be able to be the best team that you can be at this point. Um, I mean, my main focus was obviously the weight room, put more weight on because, I mean, we lost three crucial guys last year. We lost Kale, Gavin, and Jeff. And, uh, yeah, I was just motivating the other guys to get the weight room in. Actually, this was our best offseason attendance for the weight room, so put up some big numbers this year. That'll be a good thing. I know you were pretty active as well, uh, bouncing around some different camps and stuff. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Um, it was fun. It was long. Kind of sucked, but it was fun in the end, especially when you get those couple offers that pop up. So, Did you uh, find that you know different coaches maybe have some different perspectives, or did you see a lot of the things were pretty similar, maybe just some different terminology? Um, every school was about different about on everything. Uh, yeah, there's, I mean, schools are... They're all different. You would think they're the same, but they all have different techniques. Like, I learned so much this summer. So what can you do to maybe uh, translate that and show some of your teammates so that they can maybe learn some of those and be able to improve a little bit as this year wears on? Definitely just show them in practice and, I mean, show what we can do. Well, you're kind of that leader of that offensive line. Uh, you guys lost several key members from mm -hmm. that last year. Talk about that group so far. I mean, I know that that's one that – we always say it takes all five working together to be able to be successful. How's that going so far in this early going? Um, definitely started out rocky, but I remember right after the Meepo game, I got a text at like 12:30 from Jacob Barnhart. He's like, you know, I know you guys are losing a bunch of people, so just let me know if you guys want to do any work. And I made a group chat, and by February we were getting in the Ace Building doing morning workouts with them, and that really helped. And then fall camp came around. We didn't really know who's going to play center, and. Now I think we're starting, finally starting to mesh at the right time, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a good group. We're gonna have fun. Over on the defensive side, uh, it's a lot more fun over there sometimes. Yeah. But uh, talk a little bit about you know your experience because you saw a little more time on that side of the ball over the last couple of years, especially mm -hmm. as a sophomore. How has that helped you be able to uh, get to this point now? Um, it's definitely helped a lot. I mean, coming from defense and then moving to offense and playing both ways last year, it definitely helps you like learn formations and like see how offenses work and everything and yeah okay well you got Lisbon here tonight open things up for the season talk a little bit about the scouting report what are you guys expecting here for week one um they're a good team mostly wrestlers so they all got motors on them it's gonna be a tough game it's gonna be hard nosed they're primarily running uh but I think we can pull it out I think we're gonna it's gonna be a fun game to watch should be an exciting one to start off. So uh, you probably know the drill. You've probably seen these over the years. Uh, yep. You're a senior, so fill us in. What are some other things that you like to do that you have done with your time here at West Branch? Shh. Work hard. I mean, that's <laughs> all you can really do. It's all football here. So if you like it, you got to stay zoned in all the time. You personally, though, I know that uh, you've thrown your name in for, you know, play some other sports, do some other clubs. Mm -hmm. what, are, what other things do you do to help pass the time? Oh, well, I'm in marching, man. That's always great, you know. like getting made fun of by the team sometimes, <laughs> but it's all good. Uh, basketball, track, track's always fun, especially this past year when we actually had kids out. So yeah. at a four-by-fat team, probably best in the conference, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Undefeated. And then, um, yeah, golf, soccer, I mean, it's the beauty about a small school. You can do everything. So. Now, i got to ask, did Butch have to uh, bribe your mom? Because I've seen some videos this summer. You've got some pretty good cheerleading skills as well. I mean, was yeah. she trying to pull you away from Butch to help out on the sidelines? A little bit. I mean, that's that's the home life. It's all all about cheerleading. So, <laughs> <laughs> future plans. I know you mentioned uh, some of those camps. You had some different offers, uh, looking to possibly play football. Uh, tell us about where you're at in that process right now. Um, I'm just kind of more like focused on like this season. I almost like kind of want to make a decision before, but now I just want to focus on senior year and then take my time and 
see where things go after the season's done. I think that's the best option, especially for the team and everything else, and for my own mental perspective. So There you go. Focus on what's most important. Mm -hmm. That's uh, week one against Lisbon here. Yep. Drake, thanks very much for joining us. Best of luck all year long. Thank you. That is Drake Berry. He's tonight's Hodge Construction Player Profile. Back with more of the pregame right after this. This is the BearCast at westbranch.football.